You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Oh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers, excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? I see, it's a chair full of electricity. You know, it's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Can I help you with something? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine an electric chair and he uh he wants to demonstrate his invention here ah i'm familiar with the man and his work tell you what i'll give you a permit but it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees okay well Price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen and unusual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fellow here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. 
Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Treat for you. Born free. I was born free, goddamn you. Hey, you don't mind, do you? <coughs> Up you get. Take me to damn court, then. Raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying. You killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. And you came along and laid waste. Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. <laughs> what in hell are you saying, mister? This professor... Andrew Bell the third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this day of professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. Humane. No. Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. But as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. They wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? You ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact. I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke. It's okay. This is the
Sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, I got him. You're to me. wonderful. Come on! Wonderful. Don't be shy now. Let's go. Come on. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Uh, oh, well. One stay by my humane electric ending facilitator. There will be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our our um our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Here. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to be in a better place. Stay calm. Breathe deep and repent. Or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this friend's existence. In incredible! He's nearly dead! So humane! troubled, but his passing is peaceful. Kill him already. Somebody shoot me, please. Oh. Get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. 